Hello programmers! It's Easter here, so I created an Easter themed example. I've got a C structure Easter egg, and every Easter egg has a color. You might paint your first Easter egg yellow, the second one purple, and the third one might be colored blue. So we've got type def, which means we've got an alias. We can either say structure Easter egg, or we can have a shortcut and just say capital egg, and that'll work too. In main, the first Easter egg I've got, I'm initializing that data color with yellow, and the second egg I'm initializing that to purple and the third one blue. And then I'm just going to print out all three colors, and I run it, and I see that the colors are printing out first yellow and then purple and then blue. So right now we've got three distinct Easter egg objects, but what if I want something called a linked list. I want the first egg to be able to have something inside it that will point to the next egg in the list that I caught and the next one's going to point to the next one etc. So visually we're going to go from the yellow Easter egg and the yellow Easter egg will have something inside of that structure that points us to the next item in this list, in the linked list. And so yellow will point to purple, purple will point to blue, and at the end when there isn't anything else to point to, we're going to point to something called null, which is like zero. So I made one adjustment to my structure Easter egg. I added a pointer to the next Easter egg in the list. So the data type is a structure Easter egg pointer. The star means it's a pointer. And then I'm just calling this uh, member field next. So for if it's the very first Easter egg I've caught, the yellow Easter egg, then the next thing in the list is going to be the address where Easter egg two is stored. And when you've got Easter egg two, that's going to point to Easter egg three. And if you're on Easter egg three, well, the next pointer is just going to point to null. So this will give us this link list where you're, you've got one object pointing to the next, pointing to the next. And then when you're at the end, you can point to just null. So if I have this, um, we can initialize those next pointers using the address of the next Easter egg in the list. And we can still print out the colors like this, saying what's color 1 and 2 and 3. But what we could also do is all we really need is to have access to the first egg in the list, and then we can figure out what's the next thing in the list and the next things in the list. So I'm going to pause this and change my code. So all I'm changing is the print statement now. You can print the first egg's color and then tra traverse the linked list to see what the next egg in the list is. I'm going to say egg one dot next and then that's an actual pointer to the next egg in the list and I can look at the next one's color. And then to look at the third egg in the list, we're going to keep following the pointer, look at the next item, and then its next item, and then its color. And I'm using here this pointer to a member operator. That's the same thing as dereferencing the pointer, figuring out what that pointer is pointing to, and then using the dot operator. That'll give you the same answer, um, but a lot of people like to use the pointer to a member here. So normally, people will not for a very long list, like, you know, maybe we've got 10 different Easter eggs in the list, we're not going to keep adding on next and next and next and next 10 times. You could. Normally, they're going to write a, a function or at least a loop to loop through every item in the list. So let me pause. I'm going to rewrite my code using a uh, function instead. Okay, I wrote this little function, print eggs, where you pass in a pointer to the first egg in the list, and it will go through that list of Easter eggs. So starting at the first one, print its color, and then move on to the next egg, print its color, move on to the next egg, print its color, and so on and so forth. So the way I'm doing this is using pointers. I am passing in the address of the first egg that I want to look at, saving that into a variable start, and then while that egg is not equal to null, I'm going to print its color and then set the egg variable to point to egg.next. And because these are pointers, I have to dereference the pointer and then use the dot operator 
or a lot of people prefer to do that pointer to a member. Okay, so I know this is a lot, this is pretty complicated and the video is getting pretty long, but I just want to show that you can run this and print the egg list this way. I could even pass in egg three, and egg three is the last one in the list, so it's just going to have the null pointer next. And so we see we can print blue and then there's nothing else left. You can always add something on here. So let me add one more egg just to prove that you, this chain of eggs can go on and on and on. Let's try green, and now the blue one can point to the address of the fourth egg in the list. This is getting to be a pretty long chain here. And now we're gonna pass in egg one again. We're starting at egg one, looking at that yellow egg, and the next thing in the list is the address of the second egg, which is the purple, which points to blue, which points to green. So that's an example of a linked list. We are going to add on this. I need to make another video showing dynamic memory allocation so we can allocate just exactly enough memory that we need and, and run it. And as we are deciding to get more eggs in our linked list, then we'll allocate enough memory for that instead of hard coding in advance and knowing we're always going to have three eggs or four eggs. All right, happy programming. If you like the video, thumbs up and subscribe.